All right, shalom, shalom. It's the brothers from the JMSL Fine came back for another video. Before we go any further, we all praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Baha Shem. Baha Shem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Baha Shem. Baha Shem. Rukhar Kodash. Rukhar Kodash. Double honor to the Apostle and Elders, the great millstone, teaching us when we're saying truth, going to the bottom real well, and peace and blessings so fill to the nation of Israel. I'm the brother Isaiah. And we're coming back at you with the spirit and power, power of Yahweh Shema Shah with the Lord's one edifying lesson on America, Babylon the Great, you know, the land of our captivity, which we are here. And we, we're still in our cap. Can you get that in Baruch 3? And you, you can honestly start at verse 8. Um, <clears throat> you know, we're, we're still in the land of our captivity. And this, this is not our rest, you know, for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're not supposed to just stay here, you know, and, and, and just stay here. You know what I mean? And make this place. You can start at 7, Babakasha, and just read it. Right now? Yeah, Babakasha. This is uh, Baruch 3 and 7. It says, And for this cause thou hast put thy fear in thy hearts. Yeah, in the minds of the elect, because after three days and a half, the spirit of life will enter into them, the elect, and they will stand upon their feet. You see, the spirit of life, the Rokar Kodash, will enter into the, the minds, the souls of the elect, you see, the uh, uh, and, and they will wake up. They will, they will have the, they will, they will begin to be uh, 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 united, you see, to start to understand this truth is to come back to the commandments of Yahweh by Shema Shai and, and realize who we are and what our purpose is. And our purpose is to fear Yahweh by Shema Shai. Read it again, Baruch Shai. This is Baruch chapter 3, verse 7. It says, And for this cause thou hast put thy fear in our hearts. Mm hmm. To the intent that we should call upon thy name. To the intent that we should call upon thy name. When the prophets, starting with the apostles, those great millstone, these times went out on the highways and byways and told us about the death and destruction that was coming and told us that Yahweh Shema Shah is bringing these things. A great fear uh, came upon us. You know, the fear, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the trembling of Yahweh Shema Shah. Scriptures said, talk about, you know, to sanctify ourselves unto Yahweh Shema Shah and for him to let and for, for the Lord to be our fear and our dread. So we fear Yah by Shema Shah. We are fearing the Lord, you know, and we are thinking upon the names of Yah by Shema Shah with all reverence and understanding that the Lord, the only one that can get us out of this predicament, you know, the Lord is coming to bring holy hell to our enemies, and we need to get ourselves right before He brings that holy hell. Go ahead. He says. For we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned before thee. Yeah, because this is why we're in this predicament. This is why we're in America. Because our forefathers, which we are our forefathers coming back in the reincarnation. We're calling those things to mind. We're remembering how we sinned against the Lord. We're understanding these things. And now we have, you know, this is the condition of battle which man that are placed upon the earth shall fight. That if we get the victory, we shall receive the things that Yahweh Shema Shah has promised unto his chosen. You know, we're putting on as the elect of the Most High. And understanding that America is not our rest is, is, is a part of that. It's part of that step of you departing out of this place. You know, the, the ways of thinking, understanding this place is only temporal. Go ahead. Group 3 and 8. Behold. We are yet this day in our captivity, where thou has scattered us. Yeah, we're in captivity. We're in America. This is a punishment for us. You know, America is the, the punishment, the land wherein the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans will be punished for the multitude of our iniquities, you know, that we sinned against the Heavenly Father. Read it again. Baruch 3 and 8. Behold. We are yet this day in our captivity. So we should be crying out to the Lord. You know, we're, we're still here in America. 2022. Damn near the 4th of, of February already. You see, the time is flying. 
You know, we're still here in America. We should be crying out to the Lord. We should be rising out of this place. We should be shaking off the dust, you know, which represents the, the confusion that this place has placed upon us, you know, and coming back to know who the Lord is, coming back to these scriptures, you know, repenting, calling upon the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, in sincerity and in truth. Go ahead. It says, what thou has scattered us. Yeah, looking like these other nations, taking on their customs, you know, being raised in, in heathenistic customs. You see? Go ahead. For a reproach and a curse. Yeah, this system, this trap that Esau, Edom, has made, has demonized the children of Israel. You know, we're, we, we've fallen under the curses of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, so, the, you know, this is how it played out. Esau, Edom, and his system that he's created. You know, where Jake is not wanted. Jake is the uh, the criminal. Jake is the, uh, you know, the scum of the earth. You know, and Jake is short for Jacob. So we have a better kingdom, a better, uh, you see, you know, a better, a, a better, a better promise, you know. You know, we're in Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, it's going to put the law, slash commandments in their inward parts. We're going to be made perfect. We're going to get those new bodies, you know. And we're going to be uh, the uh, the creme de la creme. We're going to be the cream of the crop. We're going to be the top nation on earth again. You see, where all nations are going to come onto us for answers. They're going to come to us for a way of life, you see. But now we're going to them. We're going to our enemies. You know, that's not how we're supposed to do We're supposed to be going to Yahweh Shema Shai and learning of the Lord. You see, so that when the Heavenly Father sent Yahweh Shai back, you know, with, uh, to, to establish the kingdom of heaven, we might be joint heirs with that. Go ahead. It says, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from Yahweh, our power. That's right. So you're going to be a slave. You're going to be in debt, you know, subject to payments, you know. And uh, uh, someone who's in debt has to work off their debt, you see? So we have to work for the so-called white man. You know, we have to pay taxes, pay bills, you know? You know, basically, hardcore slavery until Yahweh, Yahweh by Shema Shai comes back and delivers us out of this place. And as we are in this captivity, we're supposed to be, uh, 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 you know, keep reading. Verse 9, it says, Here... Yasha Allah, Israel, the commandments of life, give ear to, it says, give ear to understand wisdom. That's right. Here, Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the commandments of life. You know, so these commandments, you know, us uh, believing, because whatsoever is not a faith is sin, you know, and that the Heavenly Father gave His only begotten Son to us, you know, that whosoever believes on Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, don't get, don't get it, don't get it messed up. We we rehearse the right, the 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 righteousness of Yah by Shema Shai. But if you don't got the Lord, you don't got the sacrifice of the Lamb. You, you're nothing. You're finished out here. So here, Israel, the commandments of life, give ear to understand wisdom. You know, so we're supposed to be, uh, you know, fearing the Lord, you know, departing and departing from evil, you know, that we may enter into life and us departing from evil. Get that Micah 2 and 10. That's what makes us holy. That's what separates us from, you know, these other nations, you know, in their way of life. You know, it tells you in Jeremiah 10 and 1 to learn not the ways of the heathens, neither be dismayed at the signs of heaven for the heathen are dismayed at them. You see, so we're not supposed to be learning their heathenistic customs, you know, such as celebrating Christmas, you know, the New Year, which these things just passed. But what we're coming to Valentine's Day, St. Paddy's Day, you know, these things are we're in so-called Black History Month. You know, what about the Israelite history? What about the true history on how uh, our, our righteous forefather, uh, Jacob, you know, before his name was changed to Israel, he wrestled an angel for a blessing. And we're wrestling not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of darkness in this world. You see, this is a fight for your soul. You know, we should be uh, in the mindset of fighting, you see, fighting for immortality. Go ahead, brother. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart. 
or this is not your rest. Yeah, this is not your rest. You think of a rest, you know, somewhere, a place where you sleep, some, a place that you're comfortable, you know, a, a place that you feel secure. You shouldn't feel secure here in America, you know? You're, you're one, you're, you know, you're, you're one bad day <laughs> in Babylon the Great, you know, to all hell, to, you know, the things just turn down the shitter here, you know? This, this is America. This is the worst place to be at in the whole wide world, you know? You know? If, if you're an Israelite, that is. It says, arise ye and depart. So arise, you know, and what 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 makes you arise? The the knowledge of Yahweh by Shema Shai. This this knowledge elevates you. You see, it says arise ye and depart. So once you get this knowledge, you gotta depart, you know, out of this Western mentality. You see? For this is not your rest. Go ahead. It says because it is polluted, it shall destroy you. Even with a sword destruction. Yeah, so that sword destruction is coming. You know, it's polluted, you know, the ways of this world, you know, how a uh, sodomy is promoted here. How how is that life? You see, how is GMO foods? How is that life? You know, how is chemtrails in there? How is that life? These things are anti Messiah, anti life. You see, these this this way is polluted and you falling after these ways. Is going to lead you to that sword destruction, you know, which is going to be what? Cannibalism, teeth of wild beasts, the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, and the cherry on top is going to be those icy bam nuclear missiles. So now is the time for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to wake up, you know, get Romans 13 11 and to put on this armor of light. You see, did you have a precept? Because we're going to close out on that Romans 13. No. Okay, cool. This is Romans chapter 13 and 11. It says, And then knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. And that knowing the time, how would you know the time? Because you've been watching. You know, you, you, you've been watching, the, the, you've been paying attention to the prophecies of Yah by Shema Shai. You know, and where would you get the understanding of the prophecies via the prophets, via the men, uh, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone? You see, and the men on down. That that's how you get the understanding of the prophecies and what to watch for, what to pay attention to in the news, so you can filter out all the different psyops, all the different uh, fluff news, all the different BS, and pay attention and understand what the will of Yah by Shema Shai is. Read it again. This is uh, Romans 13 and 11. It says, And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. And that knowing the time that now, you know, not later, you know, now, right now, now is the time, you know? Now is the, the appointed time where in the, the, uh, the hour cometh and now is when the dead shall hear the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai and they shall live. You know, this is the hour. The hour cometh when uh, the true worshipers shall worship the, the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. So now is the time. Now is the hour. You see, it's for us to wake out of sleep. For the remnant, you know, they're, they're waking out of sleep. You know, they're waking up to who they are. You know, and, and, and they're seeking the Lord ten times more. And, you know, we, we want to be part of that. You see, go ahead. It says our salvation is near than what we believe. You know, the salvation is near, nearer than what we believe. You know, so that means it's close because brothers, you know, we're hastening the day. So how much closer is it really? You know, what what at what major event is going to happen next? What FF, you know, these things, you know, what, what Esau going to come on the news and say next? You know, because this thing can happen any day now. You know, to where the infrastructure for the, the MOTB is already being, uh, you know, put into place. You know, all these things, uh, you know, the dominoes, you know, the, are, are being lined up, you know. And, and look, it's going to be a ripple effect. It's going to happen fast. Like the other Apostle Hara always likes to say, you know, especially when they implement that, uh, that MOTB. Go ahead. Says... For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Mm -hmm. The 
night is far spent, the day is at hand. Yeah, the day is at hand. Right now, the day is at hand. You see? Right now is the time for you to begin right. Right now is the time for you to be working uh, for your salvation. Go ahead. You work during the daytime. You see? Go ahead. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Mm -hmm. put, and let us put on the armor of light. Yeah, the works of darkness. That's what you were doing before you found out you were Israelite. Before you came into the truth. You know? Before you knew about Yah, about Shema, Shai. Those are the works of darkness. And it goes into Ephesians 6 chapter. The things that are necessity for you to do. In order for you to have that armor of light upon you. You know, you got to be committing acts of righteousness, you know, having the helmet of salvation, you know, which is uh, the, our hope, you know, the, the sword of the spirit. You see the, the shield of faith, you know, you got to be equipped in the spirit, you know, to, to, to fight off these evil spirits to, you know, scriptures say when thou comest to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation, right? So you got to make sure you're equipped, you know, uh, keep breathing. Said verse 13, let us walk honestly as in the day. Yeah, let us walk honestly. Let's walk in the truth. You know, let's let's be a doer of the word and not hear only as in the day. You know, because our our deeds are manifest on Tiha by Shema Shah. We're, we're, you see, we're, 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 we're right there, right before the Lord. You know, walking as the children of the day. You know, knowing what's going on, you know, understanding what times we're in, you know, understanding that we got to walk on eggshells in these last days. You see? Go ahead. Not in right. I mean, it says not in rioting and drunkenness. Not in rioting and drunkenness, you know, and that's what these people are doing. They're, they're rioting. They're, they're in drunk, you know, they're drunk off the wine of this world. You know, they think it's an Israelite party. You know, they think everything's a game. You know, while the prophet's out there giving you the warning, you know, telling you to turn back, telling you that this is not your rest. Go ahead. Not in chambering and wantonness. Mm hmm. But, I mean, not in strife and envy. Yep. But put on ye. I mean, <clears throat> it's like you put ye on. Yeah. I mean, put ye on. Yeah. I was shot of Mashiach. And make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. That's right, and that's the point. You're not supposed to be making a provision for uh, the flesh. You know, you're not supposed to, uh, uh, you know, to make provision for a thing. Uh, let's look at this word pro provision. It says supply. <laughs> the action of providing or supplying something for you. So you're supposed to be, you know, renewing, being being constantly renewed in the spirit of your mind and understanding that man does not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahweh by Shema Shai do if man live. You know, you're supposed to be you know, you're supposed to be feeding the spirit more than the flesh, especially in these times that we're in, especially in the times that we are uh, approaching, you know, to get built up, you know, for the time of Jacob's trouble for the ultimate test, the hour of temptation. You know, for in due season, uh, we shall reap if we faint not, you know, for those who are sowing to the spirit and not to the flesh. But, you know, Lord's one of those lessons that I find, you know, this this is not our rest. You know, we're supposed to have the mindset of arising out of this place and understanding that salvation is near and that this place has always been a punishment for us. But salvation it's coming. Salvation is on the way. With that, you know, Lord's one of your other find. With that, we're going to say, shall one.